you know, we live in a smart technology dominated world. I've got my smartphone, some of you have smart watches, iPads, things, all this technology helps us think and remember things better. Well, this machine and this individual are a couple of smart things as well. This is Carlton Self. Carlton, good to see you again. Carlton is the territory manager for John Deere and a former student of mine, so I appreciate you putting up with me six or seven years ago. Carlton is introducing us to some of the dealers down here in South Georgia that work with this piece of equipment to show us how smart this thing really is. Now Carlton, what about this machine is helping farmers here in South Georgia and around the world being so smart? Absolutely. We're going to talk about uh, some of the building blocks of precision ag technologies and uh, they're things that are going to bring some real benefits back to our customers. Uh, so efficiency, cost savings, uh, and just an overall better operator experience helps them determine some things about their farm. And this thing is so smart. I'm going to get a chance to get up in the cab and do some driving around and see this. You are not going to believe what it can do and what it can remember. So let's hop in and check that out next. Okay, so I'm sitting inside the cab of this beautiful machine. Michael Swales is with me as they call you Swales. Let's just say I just purchased this thing. Brand new piece of equipment. I'm sitting out here in my field. What do I do to learn how to program this tractor to, to work for me? Well, Nick, I mean, basically what you'll do is you'll, you'll go in and you'll add your client, your farm, and your field and set your A-B line. And, uh, you know, it can work off the curve. It can work off a straight A-B line. If you know your latitude, longitude, and heading, you know, everything, you know, and that's all on that computer screen right there. I'm just going to tell it. All right, so what if I'm looking out here at my field and I know, you know, I'm an animal lover. If there's a gopher tortoise burrow out in that field, can I tell the tractor before it starts that it's there so it doesn't run over it? You can set flags and boundaries and okay. you can, uh, you know, to, to let you know to stay away from certain areas or to, uh, you know, prevent, you know, damage to those areas. Interesting. Could be a wetland, could be a, a boundary on the side there, a rock, a kill deer nest. Incredible. Pretty excellent idea to do that with those turtles. Yes. Thanks, man. Yes. All right, so Alan Martin with Flint Ag and Turf has hopped up in the cab with me. Alan, what's next? All right, so now that we've set up our guidance line and we've got our equipment set up, our next important thing that we need to do is set up our documentation to tell this machine exactly what it is that we're out here in the field doing. Okay. So in this particular instance, we're going to set it up as if we are planting. Okay. So I've got my crop type in here as corn. I just put in a sample variety for corn one, two, three, four, mm. and then a seeding rate. So we will accept this information. And then once we get to the field, you know, we've got everything set up and we set that implement down, it's gonna start recording, it's gonna start counting our acreage, it's gonna start counting our seeding rates, mm. all of that information. And then whenever we finish this field, we know that we've got the accurate data that we need and we can move on to the next operation after that. Interesting, smart little tractor here. Okay, so all of that cool data that we've just been talking about and entering has to go somewhere. Dusty Angle with Lassiter, what are we looking at here? So this here is our modular telematics gateway. It's actually essentially a USB drive that, co that stores all the data and acts as a cell phone modem so that it can broadcast the information that's collected from the tractor and the GPS system up to the uh, to satellites so that we can retrieve all that information on the operation center. This is just incredible. I have a hard enough time finding my way to work every day, and this tractor knows way more than I do. It's incredible. So the final pieces of the puzzle, we got all that data saved onto that hard drive, and I'm joined by Lynn Perkins and Russ Worthley. Russ, we're going to come back to you in a second. Lynn, that data goes onto that hard drive, then what? John Deere's done a good job of uh, creating a, me a medium, and uh, that medium's called Operation Center. Um, you set that operation center up yourself. You set the allowances, the parameters for who you uh, share your data with or who you utilize. And uh, at that point, you can uh, push that data to whoever you uh, feel the need to send it to. Now, that could include my wife. That could include my ag agent. I want to involve that ag and natural resource agent in Georgia to help troubleshoot, right? That's correct. That's correct. And make agronomic decisions based off that data. I don't have to drive it to him. He can just get access to it or she. Just sitting at the computer at the desk. Incredible. It's all well and good, but knowing me, I would mess something up with that technology. Something would go wrong, and Russ would come along. Russ, how could you help me with that mess up? Well, in the past, you would call the service department if your tractor went down. But what if I told you that that tractor will call the service department for you? Really? Really? Yeah, so using that MTG you talked about earlier, we have the ability to pull trouble codes straight from the machine, share it with your service department, share it with you as the grower, Share it with whoever you need on the farm to know. Maybe it's just an air filter restriction. Maybe you got an air filter at the shop you need to put on. Go ahead and get you back up and running because at the end of the day, it's all about that uptime. 
And I don't have to leave my farm. I mean, that is just incredible to think about. You're probably going to see a tractor hosting the show next month because it's way smarter than I am. Guys, thanks so much for being out here with me today. And all the friends that were with us today, this was a great time. I hope you all learned a lot at home and it opened your minds to what some of these pieces of equipment can do. You know what to do. When you're online, check out the Farm Monitor Facebook page. And while you're on there, check out the Ranger Nick Facebook page and check that out. We do those Friday fly days every Friday. Friday, check us out online. And until next time, for the Farm Monitor, I'm Ranger Nick reminding you, as always, that enthusiasm is contagious. So pass it on. Thanks so much for joining me from South Georgia. We'll look forward to seeing you right back here again next month. See ya.